Well, hello there, you beautiful, beautiful people. I hope you are all well on this fabulous, fabulous... Is it the midweek hump? Is it? Is it? <laughs> Someone tell me. I think it is. I think it's a midweek hump. So if it is, have an amazing midweek hump. You're amazing, amazing people, you. And Taylor. Is Ann Taylor on Brian Koberger's side? I've been pondering this for a few days. And JB Gunner did a video yesterday. And look, I know some of you don't like JB Gunner, and me and JB Gunner have had our issues in the past, but I do have a professional respect for him in certain things that he does. Around the Idaho 4 case, I feel that he's one of the only people who is on the same wavelength as what I'm on, and for that, I have to give him credit where that's due, because so many people have jumped off of kind of being critical thinkers, being open-minded and not just going down the route that seems to be the the safest route. And don't, make no bones about it, that's what people do. They think that saying that Brian Koberger is guilty and, you know, they think that that is the safest route because they think, and this is the, this is the point, the majority of people think that Brian Koberger will get found guilty. And then what you'll see is everybody who, if he is indeed found guilty, will be like, see, we was right. We was right. All these idiots who said that he weren't he weren't um, guilty. And look at him now. Look at him now. And I, they'll be running and hiding now. They'll be hiding because they were supporting him. No, it weren't about support. And it was never about support and Brian Koberg. Let me just shut that off. Never about support and Brian Koberg. It was about support and justice and the, the pursuit of justice and making sure that, that was done right. You know, people, the, the information, even as I record this video now, I don't think there's enough information to fully support Brian Koberg of being guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. But so many people have already got him convicted and lined up against the wall. And that's the point. That's the point. At the point with which is right and correct and proper to then be like, do you know what? He did it. He did it. If you're one of these people who are absolutely convinced beyond a reasonable doubt that he did it at this stage, then I feel that you've perhaps not taken everything into consideration or you're believing some of the stories that have not been proven to be factual. And that's all my point is. But people go the safe, the safe route, the safe route, because they don't want to look perhaps or feel like they might look stupid later on down the line. But my question to you today is whether Ann Taylor, this is a, an individual, a legal representative, who has got roots deep, deep inside Moscow, Idaho, and specifically the university. Her, her herself is part of the sorority crew, if you like. We've got a judge who also has those same roots entwined. So I ask you to consider whether Ann Taylor, even though we can look at her legal prowess and feel that she is a powerful and dangerous person in the right hands, could she potentially be a dangerous person if she is indeed someone who's looking and whose actual motive in all this may be to get what she believes really deep in her heart is the right justice but is the cleverness of what she does to make it look like she's working for her client brian koberger who really is ann taylor's client the biggest telltale sign here for me that she could potentially not have his best interests at heart is the fact that we are now in the situation that we are. I did in video one, because this is video two. Two. And we've got balloons. I see them out of the corner of my eye. Thank you. Thumbs up for that. And look, so Brian Koberger, he should have had a preliminary hearing. That's it. That's my opinion. If he'd have had a preliminary hearing at that stage, was there enough evidence for him to be in the position that he was in? Furthermore, we now see that since all this has been going on and the this constant asking for, 
you know, discovery, give us discovery, give us discovery, give us discovery, makes Ann Taylor look like she's on the ball and, and request, request, request. But I wonder whether that was simply to make her look like she was being ferocious. She was being on the ball and give us, give us, give us. But the flip side of that coin is, was this all a ploy to make it look like they needed something, they needed something, they weren't getting it, they weren't getting it, in order to put Brian Koberger into a position where he would eventually waive his right to a speedy trial? Because I think to myself, look, the guy's either innocent or he is guilty. Now, if he is innocent, then my mentality would be, I'm innocent. You haven't got discovery. We keep asking, and you can't give it. So my critical mind is thinking, surely you would think to yourself, well, they haven't got anything. What they've got, which is easily, or is easy to fight, and I'm innocent, I'm going to push for it. I'm, I'm going to go. Because the only thing that can happen with more time is for them to build a stronger case against me. They don't. Ha the defence doesn't have to build a case... They just have to be proven, that Brian has to be proven to be guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. And if they can't even give him discovery, what is it, nine times now, which we know nine times fine, ten times a clusterfuck, but nine times fine, but the point is there's nine times. I would have never waived my right to a speedy trial. Because now we're in a position where this gives the prosecution can't blanch. They can do whatever they want now. They can take as long as they want and build whatever they want and find whatever they want, get rid of anything they want, and bury, 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 bury. So I ask you to consider, is Ann Taylor the right person to stand beside Brian Koberger? Or do the, ro the roots that she has inside the University of Idaho and around this area mean that she has a conflict of interest? And is that conflict of interest being very strategically hidden by her giving a, how can I say, making it appear that she is doing everything that you would expect her to do? Is Ann Taylor a lot cleverer than we've given her credit for? Because has she hidden behind all of these requests and comments and statements when her real motive is indeed to get Brian Koberger sent down the river for a crime that happened in somewhere that she grew up with. Think about it. Let me know down below. And Taylor, pro Koberger, anti Koberger. Does Brian Koberger need to start thinking about a change of venue or a change of representation or both? I do appreciate that in terms of a change of venue, we have seen the Jay Lodston stuff. Now, if it is correct that six members of the grand jury felt that there was not enough evidence to indict, now I will say this, I'm still confused and still reeling a little bit from, I believe that if their standard of, you know, of the grand jury was indeed only probable cause, then I still have to wonder why there were six people who felt that there was not enough evidence for probable cause because that's a given the knife sheaf alone would have given probable cause a knife sheaf found at the scene with his dna on it that's probable cause right there let alone everything else that's been sort of written around it i understand there was a lot of things that point towards probable cause so why did these six jurors request additional unless they believed that their standard was actually proof that would lead to or evidence that would lead to a conviction that still I, i'm still sort of wondering and and that's the only reason i'm wondering because i wonder why these six jurors would ask for more if it was purely probable cause but look that's it, it that to me would say that the the area perhaps aren't completely concrete in their thoughts and feelings and perhaps they do need to see a lot more so perhaps a venue change isn't so much needed but representation that for me something just don't sit right doesn't sit right with you let me know down below and i'll catch you all in the next one <laughs>